Hello and welcome back. Today we're here to bring you a full rundown of Remote Darts League 2. We saw the first edition of the Remote Darts League a few weeks ago now and they've been hard at work trying to get that second tournament up and running and they have delivered with 21 day, 22 days of darting action, a day rest in between, 21 full days of darts coming to you from the Remote Darts League over the next few weeks, starting Monday, of course, around 9 p.m. There were 10, 10 players involved in the first edition of the Remote Darts League, but this time they've brought 16, and there's players from all over the world. Today I'm going to run you through all 16 of those players and bring to you, obviously, the format and what we expect to see in this time's Remote Darts League. First of all, uh, the top four from the previous uh, iteration of the Remote Darts League have been entered back into the second edition. So that's James Richardson, who actually won the tournament last time out, beat Paul Hogan in the final, was probably the best player throughout the couple of weeks. So you have to say a well-deserved spot for James Richardson. Paul Hogan also made the final, some fantastic performance from him throughout the days. Uh, Jim Williams was a little unlucky, came up against a very strong Richardson in the semi-finals. And then Tony O'Shea, one of the most consistent performers throughout those weeks. Joining those four players, we have got Darren Heroini, uh, a player that lots of people in the WDF and BDO ranks will have heard of and will know how dangerous he is. 28 years of age, nicknamed Apocalypse. Uh, he's the WDF World Cup singles champion. Now that is a very, very difficult tournament to win, so that shows you what pedigree he's got. Also competed in the 2020 World Championships, uh, losing out to Andy Hamilton on that occasion. We've also got David Cameron uh, from Canada. He's competed in the World Championship numerous times, made the last 16 in 2019. And he's a frequent winner, really, in the, in the Canadian and the United States, the North American circuit, really. We've seen him play plenty of times on that tour. And uh, he's actually ranked 47 in the BDO rankings as well. The, that's David Cameron Excalibur, of course. Next up, another player from the CDC circuit is Joe Chaney. Uh, his best performance in a BDO event came at the World Trophy not so long ago, around six months ago probably, in Blackburn. I was there and he actually made the quarterfinals, um, putting some stunning performances in the early rounds, but didn't quite have enough at the quarterfinals stage. He's also played in two World Championships, never made it past the first round. Um, of course, played in the, the latest World Championships at, at the Indigo. Uh, and... So moving on from him, we've got John O'Shea, the current world master. Um, for me, one of the best tournament surprise wins I've seen in my years, Catherine Darts. He came into that tournament and, yeah, everybody knew who John O'Shea was, but he wasn't really a player you expected to go and win. And he was superb throughout the three days uh, at the Circus Tavern. He was absolutely unbelievable. Beat Scott Waits in the final, averaging 90 for, for most of that those three days. Um, 180s galore, his big finishing was absolutely on point. Uh, and it was superb in that tournament. Made his World Championship debut as well. Lost Andres Harrison on that occasion. We've seen him at the World Masters. We've seen him um, all over the circuit, really. He's got plenty of island caps as well. So, John O'Shea also joining the Remote Darts League. Elsewhere, we've got the Australian, Justin Thompson. Uh, ranked number 28 in the world. He plays on the DPA Tour, won plenty of tournaments over in Australia and New Zealand. We've seen him in the, the World Championships the last three years, actually. He's made the last 32. We've also got Larry Butler, obviously the 1994 World Match Play champion, the first World Match Player that was staged. Um, one, of the, one of the greats of the US. Very, very well respected across the pond, of course. Uh, and actually, uh, he was the World Masters runner-up in 2015 as well, showing that after 21 years, he's still got it. And I really do expect to see some good darts from Larry, of course, the Bald Eagle in the Remote Darts League, come Monday. I'll quickly round up the final two male picks for the Remote Darts League, and we've got Richard Venstra, 38 years of age, world rank number one in the BDO. He's never actually won one of the major events. He's made a World Trophy final, He's made the uh, the World Championship Finals in 2016, I believe it was. Um, he's won the Dutch Open, he's won the British Open, he's won absolute 
uh, trolley full of tournaments, but never won a TV tournament, which really baffles me because he is an absolutely ser superb player on his day. I've also got Thibaut Tricolet, the Frenchman, really starting to make a racket in 2019. Started winning tournaments, went at the Tourmalinos Open, won the Isle of Man, I believe, this year as well, not so long, right at the start of the season before, of course, um, we went into lockdown. Obviously, no more darts at the moment. Uh, that's why we happen to have things like the Remote Darts League. Um, made the World Masters last thirty two in 2019. Of course, uh, beat Ross Montgomery in the World Championships at the Indigo in January. So he'll be one to watch out for and a name that maybe not quite in the top four players you'd expect to be there, but he can definitely get some wins and, and possibly challenge for that top four and maybe even get in those playoffs. And finally, we'll run through the four female picks for the Remote Darts League 2. We've got Laura Turner, Lorraine Wynn Stanley, Stacey Page and Tina Osborne. I'll start with Tina Osborne. Uh, she was a name I wasn't particularly familiar with before looking into the Remote Darts League. 41 years of age from New Zealand. She qualified for the BDO World Championships in 2016, uh, coming in in the first round last 16, unfortunately losing out of that stage there. Uh, she's played in the World Masters twice as well. Um, she's got plenty of pedigree, so I'll be interested to see how she gets on. Uh, also, Stacey Page, 27 years of age, uh, 27 in the world rankings, I should say, sorry. Um, so she's obviously got plenty about her. She seems like she's got some good results and some excellent scalps on her, on her resume um, from the United States, as I said. So she's a player to watch out for. It'll be interesting to see how, how all the ladies get on, really, against the men in this style tournament with them not being obviously on the same stage. And the final two ladies, both world championship competitors. We've got Laura Turner, who made the quarterfinals of the world championship, defeating Dieter Hedman at the Indigo in January. Uh, that was her second attempt at a world championships. She's also a British classic champion, I believe. We've seen her in the, well, heard her in the commentary booth for Sky Sports at the likes of the, the Grand Slam, of course, she was a, a permanent fixture at the World Championships. Um, it'll be interesting to see how she gets on in this sort of environment. And the final pick is Lorraine Wynne Stanley. Former World Masters Champion in 2017, a World Championship runner-up in 2019 and a World Trophy runner-up in 2018. She's got plenty of pedigree. I think you would have to say she is the most well-known and probably... The best of the the four female picks so you'd be looking at her to to really upset some of the odds and, and go at it against some of the male players she's a player i fully expect to go into this tournament and and claim some big scalps possibly even challenge for those playoff spots but we'll have to see uh the tournament starts monday uh the games will be first to seven legs uh obviously that's best of 13 and it'll be interesting to see, with 16 players, it's absolutely wide open. Be there on the Remote Darts League's channel around 9pm on Monday.